Hello everyone! Magsasolve tayo ng derivative of a function using quotient rule of differentiation. Paano ba siya gamitin? We let u and v be functions of x. Kapag kinukuha natin yung quotients nila, we have u divided by v. Yung u yung nasa numerator, nasa taas, tapos yung v naman yung nasa denominator. Kapag kukuhanin natin ng derivative, we just copy our denominator v, tapos imumultiply natin siya sa derivative nung nasa numerator na u, Minus, ang kukopyahin naman natin ay yung nasa numerator na u, tapos imumultiply naman natin siya sa derivative nung nasa denominator natin na v. And then, this is all over the square of our denominator v. Ibig sabihin, we just copy the low times derivative of the high minus high times derivative of the low all over low squared. Now, we apply this kasama yung ibang basic rules ng ating differentiation This is our example number 3 for quotient rule. Let us solve this one. Kung kukuhanin natin yung derivative, we have dy over dx. This is equal to, so isulat muna natin to. We have our u that is 4x cubed minus 2x minus 10. Tapos ang v naman natin ay 3x squared plus 5x minus 2. Ngayon, meron na tayo nito, meron na tayong guide, alam na natin yung u tsaka yung v, then apply na natin siya dito sa formula. Then again, our denominator, we have v, 3x squared, siya muna ang kopyahin natin, 3x squared plus 5x and then minus 2. According to the formula, imumultiply natin yung nasa denominator na v sa derivative nung nasa numerator. So, kukuhanin muna natin yung derivative ni 4x cubed minus 2x minus 10. Since they are separated by subtraction, pwede natin kuhanin yung derivative separately. Si 4x cubed muna, si 2x bago si 10. Then doing that, applying our basic rules, unahin natin si 4x cubed, ilabas muna natin yung constant na 4. Tapos para makuha natin yung derivative ng x cubed, this is the derivative of a power. As we recall our formula, the derivative of x raised to an exponent n is just equal to Kuhanin natin yung nasa exponent na n, ibababa lang natin siya. So, we put down n, tapos we have our x here. Yung nasa exponent na n ay babawasan natin ng isa. Applying that here, given tayo ng x cubed, ang exponent natin ay 3. So, ibababa natin siya, that is our n. So, we have 4 times ibababa yung 3. So, we have 4 times 3. Tapos, kopyahin natin si x. Tapos, yung 3 na exponent, according here, ay babawasan natin ng isa. So, we have 3. Minus 1. Then we follow the same process dito kay 2x. We have minus. Si 2x naman ang kukuha na natin ng derivative. We copy our 2. Tapos yung x natin, this can be rewritten as x raised to 1. Meron naman tayong exponent na 1. So, siya yung ibababa natin. So, we have putting down 1, 2 times 1, times x. Tapos yung exponent na 1, siya naman yung babawasan natin ng isa by power rule of differentiation. So, we have 1 minus 1. Minus, kahit na tayo, this is just a constant. The derivative of a constant is just equal to 0. Kaya ang derivative ng 10 is just equal to 0. Now we are done with the derivative of our u. We have our v here times the derivative of u. Medyo humaba lang siya, pero after doing this, pwede na naman natin siyang simplify. Now let us proceed with our second part. We have our u. Kukopyahin naman natin yung u natin, yung nasa numerator that is, 4x cubed minus 2x minus 10. So, we subtract according to the formula. Subtraction, we copy our u. We write down 4x cubed minus 2x minus 10. And then, according here, we get the derivative of our denominator v. We multiply natin siya dito according to our formula. Then, usud lang tayo dito para magkaroon tayo ng space. Now, we get the derivative of 3x squared plus 5x minus 2 by applying again our basic rules. Kaya we multiply this here, pull out muna natin si 3, unahin natin si 3x squared. So we have 3x squared here, tapos meron tayong exponent na 2. Kaya siya naman yung ibababa natin, we have 3 times 2 here, tapos yung x natin, tapos yung exponent na 2 ay babawasan ng isa, we have 2 minus 1. Tapos na tayo kay 3x squared. Punta naman tayo kay 5x. Then we use the same operation, addition, kuhanin natin si 5, this is also x raised to 1, kaya pwede natin ibaba para makuha yung derivative yung exponent. So, this is 5 times 1, tapos this is x, 
Tapos yung exponent na 1 ay bawasan natin ng isa. Now we proceed with our 2. Since this is just a constant, the derivative of a constant is just equal to 0. Kaya ito ay magiging minus 0. Now we close. Para makita natin lahat, zoom out lang natin siya ng konti. Then we have our operation here. Meron pa tayong kukuhanin kasi according to our formula, yung square nung ating denominator na v. So this is all over. Let us draw our fraction line here. Tapos ang nasa baba ay 3x squared plus 5x minus 2. According to the formula, kuhanin natin ang square. Now we simplify our numerator para mas madali siyang tignan. So this is just equal to, still we copy our v, 3x squared plus 5x minus 2. Tapos ito naman yung simplify natin, we have 4 times 3, so this is just equal to 12. Tapos x, 3 minus 1, that is 2. So we have 12x squared. Then minus, 2 times 1 is 2, kaso this will become x raised to 0. By applying our loss of exponent, x raised to 0 is just equal to 1. Isulat natin dito, if we have a 0 exponent, this is just equal to 1. Kaya ito ay magiging 2 times 1 times 1, so we are left with 2. Then minus 0 lang naman, kaya pwede na natin siyang i-close. And then minus, we copy our numerator u. So we have 4x cubed minus 2x minus 10. Tapos simplify naman natin ito. So we have 3 times 2, that is 6. x, 2 minus 1, this is just 1. Kaya x raised to 1 or simply x. Plus, we have the same process here. x raised to 1 minus 1, this will become x raised to 0. That is just equal to 1. Kaya ito ay magiging 1. So 5 times 1 times 1. That is just equal to 5. Now we were able to simplify our numerator. This is all over our denominator. Kopihin lang natin. 3x squared plus 5x minus 2 and then squared. Kailangan na lang nating i-perform yung operation na nasa numerator para mas masimplify pa natin siya. So this is just equal to expanding our terms. We have 3x squared times 12x squared. 3 times 12, that is just equal to 36. Tapos, x squared times x squared. Since they share the same base, yung exponent ay i-add na lang natin kasi nagmumultiply tayo. So, we have 2 plus 2, that is 4. Kaya, this is 36x raised to 4. Tapos, 3x squared naman times 2, we have minus 6 and then x squared. Tapos, kay 5x na tayo, we have 5x times 12x squared. 5 times 12, that is equal to 60 x times x squared, that is x cubed. Then next, 5x times 2, so this is minus 10x, tapos minus 2 times 12x squared, this will be minus 24x squared, tapos 2 times 2, since subtraction pareho, gawin na nating addition, we add 4. Then subtraction, huwag natin kalimutan yung grouping symbol kasi nagperperform tayo ng operation dito sa loob. So let us proceed here. We have 4x cubed times 6x. 4 times 6, that is 24. x cubed times x, that is x raised to 4. I-add lang natin yung exponent. This is 3. Merong 1 to, so 3 plus 1, that is 4. Then 4x cubed times 5, that is equal to 20x cubed. And then, kay negative 2x naman tayo, or minus 2x, we have 2x times 6x, that is minus 12x squared. Tapos, 2x times 5, that is just equal to minus 10x. Then lastly, kay 10 na tayo, this is minus 10 times 6x, this is 60x. Usod tayo ng konti para magkasya lahat. Then 10 times 5, that is just equal to 50. So we have minus 50. Kung mapansin natin, etong buong part na to, nakasubtract tayo. Kaya para magawa natin yung operation, kailangan natin baguhin yung sign nung nasa loob. Kasi we are getting the difference nung lahat nung to. But before that, isulat muna natin yung denominator dito. We have 3x squared plus 5x minus 2 squared. Then para mapabilis na rin tayo, gawa natin ang operation yung kaya dun sa taas. So we have here, ano ba yung common? Isa lang naman yung may x raised to 4 here. So we have 36x raised to the 4th. Tapos yung x cubed, isa lang din. So we have plus 60 x cubed, tapos yung x squared meron tayong dalawa, negative 6x squared minus 24x squared. So that is just equal to minus 30x squared. 
Then, we have minus 10x, tapos plus 4. Dito naman, isa lang naman yung may x raised to 4, 24x raised to 4, dahil babaguhin natin yung sign because of the subtraction, we put this as minus 24x raised to the 4th. Tapos yung x cubed, isa lang din naman, we have 20x cubed. Since subtraction, addition, gawin nating subtraction. So, this will become minus 20x cubed. Then, for x squared, minus 12x squared, gawin natin siyang plus 12x squared, changing the signs. Tapos, negative 10x minus 60x, that is negative 70x. Again, since we are doing our subtraction, babaguhin ulit natin yung operation. That will be plus 70x. Tapos, changing the operation here, minus 52 plus 50. Then, this is all over the denominator. 3x squared plus 5x minus 2 and then squared. Nasa last step na tayo, we can only simplify our numerator. Perform na lang tayo ng operation. So, this is just equal to 36x raised to the 4th minus 24x raised to the 4th. That is just equal to 12x raised to the 4th. Tapos, x cubed tayo. 60x cubed minus 20x cubed. That is 40x cubed. Then, x squared, we have Minus negative 30x squared plus 12x squared, we have 18x squared negative. Then for x, negative 10x plus 70x, that is just 60x. Tapos for our constant, 4 plus 50, that is 54. Then this is all over. We copy the same. 3x squared plus 5x minus 2 and then squared. We were able to simplify our numerator. Okay na rin naman tayo sa ating denominator. Then, this is the derivative of our function. dy over dx. This is our final answer. Medyo naging mahaba lang yung proseso kasi kailangan pa natin isimplify yung kinuha na natin ng derivative. Pero as long as sanay na naman kayo sa operations on polynomials saka certain laws of exponents, kaya na naman natin siyang masolve. Yung calculus na part dito is just yung pag-apply natin ng quotient rule of differentiation dito sa una. Pero the rest of the way, this is just pure algebra simplification na lang siya. Kaya this topic is also an opportunity for you to enhance your skills in algebra. With that, this ends our third example for quotient rule of differentiation. See you on our fourth example.